Welcome, my friends. This is Maniacal Incorporated, continuing on with a heavy heart, struggling on after we lost George in the last episode. George's death has affected me very badly. I've become paranoid. I haven't been sleeping. If I had a gun, I would have taken to sleeping with it under my pillow, but I don't. So I've been sleeping with a come on under my pillow. It is very uncomfortable. But I am convinced that the same people that killed George are going to come for me. And if they do, I'll be able to... Uh... Whack the bullets out of the air? I didn't really think this through. So we lost, we lost George in the last episode. We lost Nora, who we sold, effectively, to Frank Reagan. Cyril got himself a shiny new Tommy gun to keep him happy to make up for uh, the loss of his GF. And what I'm going to start to do now is I'm going to start to skip some of the combats. You've seen all the combats, especially the smaller and medium-sized buildings. You've seen those combats far too many times at this, at this stage. I'm going to have to do a lot of them. I need equipment that we're not getting on the black market. I need armor. Uh, George's defense rating was minus 10. He was a bullet magnet. So I need armor. It's not on the, bla the black market, so I'm going to have to start um, just attacking everything, left, right, and center. And, you know, I've covered them, tons of them already. Go back over the last episodes. Watch some of the cool combats if you want to. So I'm going to I'm going to skip those. I'm going to leave them out. I didn't realize at the start of this episode, by selling a small bit of hooch, I got together enough money to hire Dr. Natalie Warren. But we're just a couple of prestige points. Prestige? Um, this isn't CK3. Uh, notoriety. We're a couple of notoriety points short of getting her. So I'm going to just attack a random building hopefully get that notoriety, hire her, and then see if I can get some equipment and take on Saltus. I would like to try and find where Angelo Jenna is based before I take on Saltus. But I'm going to try and start to, to wrap this uh, series up. I've gone through what? This is 10 episodes and I've killed one of the major bosses. So that means there's another 40 episodes coming. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. So just to zoom out, this is what near Northside looks like. Angelo Jenna is in here somewhere. There's Saltus. I'm gonna I'm gonna attack these buildings and ransack them to try and get equipment, try and get money. I'm gonna go to the black market every once in a while. The problem with the black market is the stock renews every 90 days or something like that. So it's gonna be ages before there's anything new here. Uh, the armor, the stethoscope actually isn't too bad, plus 5 defense bonus, 30% max health. So I might actually get that. You know what, it's cheap. Might as well buy it. But I don't know if I'll give it to anyone. I don't know if it's, is it actually much good. I would rather, I would rather armor. Uh, but I've done pretty much all that I want to do. I've covered all the Irish-American gangsters. I've covered all the Irish gangsters in the series. I've covered all the missions that are in the series. I've covered almost all of the weapons, except for... The Mauser C96, uh, known in the game as a broom handle, but referred to in the Irish War of Independence as a Peter the Painter. So that's the only one that I actually haven't gotten yet and uh, been able to talk about. But other, other than that, I've pretty much done everything I wanted to do. However, I can't end this series until I either kill everyone or Frankie Donovan gets killed. So, I'm going to get to work on taking out these buildings, and I will be back when there's something interesting. The best laid plans, etc, etc. I took about five steps, and a piece with the Jennas. And this time it actually popped up on screen. There was a pop-up. There was a truce. So I think they've um, that's actually been modded into the game. What I'm going to do... I've come up to near north side, and I'm going to declare war on this minor faction to, um, I think there's a mission to, um, to wipe out one of the minor factions. So it is, who is it? It is, 
we have to go around the long way. There we go. Declare war. Uh, not inviting nobody. Or you can invite them that way. This is the first time I've ever declared war. I haven't had to in the past. So go to war. Uh, enemies, assault us gang. It'll be hilarious if we end up at war with uh, with Saltus. <laughs> I think from where I am, I should be able to ambush. There we go. I'm gonna break your face in. <laughs> Come here to me. That's what I'm fucking yes. talking about. Signs. Salo, huh? Victory! That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna <clears throat> break your face in. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, you fucking gobshite. Yeah! Mighty! That's what yeah. I'm fucking Fantastic. talking about. Fantastic! All right! Victory! That's what I'm talking about! In two short combats, I have taken out Shiva's slayers. There was um, a mission to take out a minor faction. I think I got some notoriety and a thousand dollars. I am very proud of my naming. I named this brothel the Prince of Wales after the future King of England who lost his, or the King of uh, United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland who lost his virginity at the Monto. And I named this casino across the way the Prince of Wales. Prince of Wales. Prince of Wales. Prince of Wales. I'm delighted with that. That's probably my greatest achievement in this entire game. Second nice only to, to finally hiring all of the Irish and Irish American characters. Well, okay. Third only to hiring all the Irish and Irish Americans and keeping Cyril alive for this long. To say that Dr. Natalie Warren is the most precise, methodical, and immaculate doctor of her time would be an understatement. However, her gaze casts about as much warmth as a scalpel. Dr. Natalie Warren entered medicine for the money, not the mercy. She found plenty of money to be had working for criminals who prefer to avoid hospitals, and both shows and demands a lot of discretion in her care and service. She's also exceptionally adept at combat, especially with blades. Almost. As if she's had a lot of practice. Ah, because she's a surgeon. I get it. Uh, has a calm personality that reflects her stable, privileged upbringing. Coming from an upper crust community, she believes a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Some not great stats. Uh, afraid. So, if somebody in combat dies, i.e. Cyril... There's a chance that she will run for it. Uh, she is Campbell, so that's not too bad. And, um, yeah. I don't know if there was if I was going to say anything else. Oh yeah, we know that she's Irish-American because it's in the actual game files. So that's it with this hire. You want the best? You got her. I have, effectively, got all of the Irish and Irish-American characters, except poor George and Crispo Gregson, who won't work with Clyde. I knew there was a caveat. I knew there was, um, I knew there was something. So it's, it's unlikely that we're going to get Crispo Gregson. We will confirm. We will see what traits she has. Fantastic. Oh, that's going to be put to immediate use. She has heal. Interesting. Any character within four meters of you will bleed out instead of dying. If only she was within four meters of George. Uh, Ritalin. Well, I'm going to call it Ritalin. I know it's not. Malpractice. Increase the duration of any status effects. And um, basically, this is all we have to do is to select this. Wonderful. There are then casino upgrades. I think we get those separate to this. We can go for things like uh, increasing casino income by 5%. So a couple of characters. I think she's the only Irish-American character I've seen with these. Um, but a couple of characters have, they can somehow affect other buildings. So, because she's a surgeon, she can upgrade our casinos. Or she increases, like, the casino upgrade cost goes down minus five. This is the one I'm going to go for anyway, um, if we're still playing this. Uh, casino income goes up 
So where is she? Where is she? Sure thing. She's inside that building. Get her to join the gang. Finally, we have a doctor. Again. Cyril, look. A new Nora. A new fancier Nora. Mm -hmm. I should actually see what she has. Rifles. Sniper rifles. Gets the SMLE. Uh, she has the normal regular rounds. I don't think I have any guns. We have the model 1915. I don't think it's great. Uh, much higher crit chance. Other than that, I don't think it's great. So we'll we'll try and get some weapons. Um, but yeah, there we have it. There is your Irish-American gang standing in the middle of the road. Uh -huh. My God, look at the poor man. Surrounded by crazy-looking Irish people. So here is our Canadian Maple Association contact. Uh, I've just realized, because I upgraded a building, I'm on the verge of, of bankrupting the gang. Our crew is costing five and a half thousand a week. I'll be able to sell some some alcohol to, to keep us going for uh, for a while, but again, I'm going to have to take more buildings to uh, to cover the cost of our wage bill. Frankie Donovan, thank you for coming. This is a personal matter and one of some urgency. Should should everyone should I tell the guys to go away? What is it? I have a very close friend named Rosie who's currently being held against her will at the cozy spot. I took a brothel in the last episode called the cozy spot and renamed it the cozy kitchen. Now somebody else might have renamed a different building the cozy spot so I don't know which one he's talking about. I need your help to get her out of there. Sure I'll get her. Thank you Frankie Donovan. J just call me just call me Frankie or Mr. Donovan. Frankie Donovan sounds weird. I won't forget this. Don't let any harm come to her, I beg you. I'll try. So we have to go somewhere. Let's see where we're going. It belongs to uh, Keenan's Night Machine, and they're actually currently being attacked by uh, the Northside Mob. So this could, oh, this could get complicated if the Northside mob ends up taking it. There's no way of kind of restricting missions. We've seen it where there's been important buildings that we've needed to take, and um, they end up being taken by other factions. There's, there's nothing that kind of stipulates this building is an important building. Just don't allow it to be taken over by any any groups. I think they should just have these empty buildings. Should be earmarked for the use of uh, of missions. Los Romeros, they heard we were in trouble. They're offering um, not much money for rack, but it will it will cover our wage bill for a while. I think we have a ton of rack. Not a ton, but we're making we're making seventy one a week. And as you can see, I'm actually making everything bar swill. I just don't care about swill, but I'm now making everything, any gain except poison. The only thing you can do with it really is to use it to. Um, to poison people, disguise it as something, and sell it to somebody else. Oh, we just barely have another week's worth of, uh, of, of wage bills covered. We could melt down Cyril's golden gun. Christ almighty, what is this shit? Oh, let's see what's going on here. Here is Rosie. Will do, not a bother. Okay, we'll all skip her. Okay, never mind. Of course. Okay, we're running back again. Locking up the door. Oh, lads. Uh, who are you? Let's just say I'm a friend of a friend. Are you a shock? Hope you're here to get me out of this pit. That's precisely why I'm here. How did you end up in a place like this? If you can get me out of here alive, maybe I'll tell you. A good story. For another time. But we should probably hurry. Uh, they're not going to be happy when I leave. The door is right there beside you. 
Um, yes. I want to ask this woman if she has any weapons, because I want to know where they are. Of course, I've got my gun right here. Where have you been keeping it? Don't worry about me. I can handle myself in a scrap. I wish she said I have a come on on me. Right, let's go. Uh, where do you think you're going? None of your business. Better get out of my way. Better get out of my way. You can't take her. Boss's orders. I'll give you one chance to look the other way. So there's no persuasion attempt this time. It's pretty much a fight. Tell your boss to shove it. Begin combat. Right out here in the hall. Ask Cyril, where are you going? I'm gonna break your face in. Bang, and the dirt is gone! Oh, Jesus, he's deafened That's everyone. What I'm talking about. Yes! Signs! Solo, huh? Victory! That's what I'm talking about! And Frank. Honest. Yes. Uh, thanks for helping me out. I wish I had more to give you. Well, <laughs> but in any case, you deserve it. Here. Uh, thanks, Rosie. You get hurt in all that scuffle. What kind of armor does she have? I want whatever, whatever armor she has. Uh, me? It's barely a scratch. Oh, did you get shot as well, like Liam? That time when he didn't actually get shot and he just died from being an arsehole. You hardly need to worry about me. I can take care of myself. Always have. Uh, don't doubt it, by the way. What's the deal? He's my brother! Oh, well. Uh-oh. Um, he failed to mention that. That sounds about right. Uh, when he's not embarrassed by me... I I had, I had a brother who was embarrassed about me... What? Anyway, look, no, this is about you, Rosie. Sorry. Uh, when he's not embarrassed about me, he thinks I'm a liability. Either way, I'm not what you would call a free woman in his eyes. That's a shame. Um, I don't get that from him at all. Sorry about that. Yeah, we'll, we'll say that. Well, you don't really know him, no matter how much you think you do. But anyway, thank you for the help. Um, she figured that he wouldn't come here himself, but she's glad he sent us. You know, I... Yeah, we'll ask her how she ended up here. It's complicated. Let's just say I was in a relationship that went south quickly. Speaking of which, Dutch, Dutch Schultz. Wouldn't be too happy that you sprung me. He might come looking for you. Another historical character, as far as I'm I'm aware. So kind of like Frankie Yale. Uh, don't worry about me. Thanks, I'll see you around. Bye, Rosie. And off she goes. Doesn't even put a coat on her. Clyde, would you not offer her the coat? There's ten grand and there's our, there's our wage bill gone. Never mind about that wage bill. Off into the night with us. Unless it's the middle of the day. No Let's do it. So I've headed back to near Southside. And my intention was to declare war on Angelo Jaina. Uh, to ransack as many of his buildings as possible and try and discover where his safe house is. But we have a truce with him at the moment, so we can't. So I'm thinking of a few different things. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with ransacking these derelict buildings. I'm going to attack as many of them as possible, ransack them, and see if I can find weapons or armor. After that, I'll see if I can attack Jaina, or Jenna. I've heard uh, the two different pronunciations of the surname, so the, the Jennas are the Jainas, and I kind of oscillate back and forth between the two of them. I don't want to go up against Saltus until I've gotten some better weapons, some better armor, and I would like to know where uh, the Jennas are before I go up against Saltus. I'm going to ransack this place. I'm going to burn it, and then we'll see what's up. Come here to me. Come here to me. I'm going to batter you. Come here to me. Come here to me, and I'll bet you. Now then, we did not have a bad day shopping. 
I started down here, so we got out of the taxi, ran across to here, then realised that I couldn't declare war on the Jennas. So I started here, worked up in this direction and across, and we've put together a nice selection of weapons. Most importantly, look at this, the Mauser C96, commonly referred to as the broom handle. But uh, as I was mentioning, in Ireland, it's known as a uh, Peter the Painter. And uh, this is the type of weapon that Cahal Brua had down the leg of his trousers when he sat in the, the gallery of the House of Commons in 1918, prepared to wipe out the British government. Uh, this weapon was used extensively during the War of Independence, so I've given it to Frankie. I don't think it's great. Damage 11. What did I take off of him? This is what I took off of him. I think this is a better weapon, but even though... Uh, Frankie does actually have some... Um, some stats with the... with handguns. I am focusing a bit at the moment on trying to up his kills with the... with the rifle, with the American Wake. I got... Shatter rounds for the uh, the American Wake, which knocks off a point of armor. I've had that for a while, but I just got high impact rounds as well, which I gave him. So it increases the crit chance of his handgun. I don't think I got anything new for Cyril. Uh, everybody now has been kitted out in some type of a waistcoat, uh, some type of armor. Everyone has something. So there, there was a few that had nothing. Everyone has been given more than just the basic... Uh, revolver. So this uh, starting one that everyone had. Uh, the single action, so everybody has something fancy now. Uh, so she's gotten probably Frankie's new service revolver, and she's gotten a uh, cotton padded vest. I've made sure to give them armor based on their hit points. So the higher the hit points, the lower the armor they get, because of course, look at this ape. 63 They'd make two Dr. Natalie Warrens out of you. So he's gotten the he's gotten the government issue, and I think the other government issue has gone too. I thought there was two of them. Is there only one? There's only one, and it's all Cyril's. But then the, the metal lined waistcoats have gone to some of the weaker characters. And um yeah, do you know what? We have a we have a good chunk of stuff. There was no great weapons that came up. I think I gave an, a new shotgun to Jez. We've been told that our underboss wants to speak to us. I believe that somebody is selling hooch in our district, and they shouldn't be. I'm going to start that mission. I might even do it if it's short. And then, Saltus. Eel. Saltus, I'm coming for you. So we will. How you doing? Talk to Clyde. Everyone's trying to get into the eel. They all want eel. Lads, look at the price of that. Should you be... Oh, Jesus, they're already out of trout. Get in there quick before the eel goes. Something strange going on around town. Apparently, there's a family selling hooch in our territory. Under the guise of being milkmen, they want to speak with you. Uh, what do they want? I think they're trying to strike a business deal. You'd be better off talking to them yourself. That sounds very good. A business deal. Lads, there'll be no eel today. We're going to do a business deal. Right, so I don't know if we're in a bit of a problem here. It said to meet our contact outside the Prince of Wales, and I'm out, I'm outside the Prince of Wales. Wait a minute. I was the other Prince of Wales. Ah, oh, no. I knew I was going to make this mistake someday. Right Just hope people going to the casino haven't made that mistake and gone across the road to the... <clears throat> hey, Frankie Donovan. Nice to meet you. Name's Claire. Me and my family been setting up around here and wanted to know if you wanted in on our little business. Selling hooch in my territory without consulting me first. Bad move. I'm intrigued. Go on. I couldn't care less. Glad to hear you're so eager. Our little milk business flies under the radar. 
and makes transporting hooch easy as hell. Do you know how many breweries I have? I don't care about transporting hooch. Uh, we load up our little truck, call it milk, and make deliveries. Sworn by the method for years now, and still yet to be caught. That's great, but what's in it for me? It'll cost, but we can get you stable shipments of alcohol. I thought, I thought you were going to sell. You're going to get alcohol. Do you see that number? Do you see that number? I don't care about that number, because that number is so high. 192 whiskey. Even if that was the total alcohol I was producing, that would still be too much. Wait. Um, we'll ask how much it costs, but five grand. Uh, well, I can't afford it one way or the other, but uh, no, go away. If you ever change your mind, you know where to find me. Well, that was... Great, Cyril's got a trait. I was going to say it was a waste, but Cyril got a trait. So did Frank McCurlin. Uh, and this is actually the trait that I gave Frank. So we will give Cyril, gun him down, fire a single shot at every enemy target within range, or until you run out of ammo. With the golden gun. Ooh, well, never mind. That's cracking! Now, there is something that I wanted to, uh, to mention about Cyril. I'm beginning to think there's a lot of similarities between Cyril and Gale from my Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough, because I remember giving out to Gale constantly. Uh, Painting Poorly said that Gale had a bad back from the amount of times that he carried the group. I don't think so. And I give out to Cyril quite a lot as well. Gale had also done something silly. He consumed, I think, part of the weave that generates magic in D&D and was a walking time bomb. Well, to a degree, I think so is Cyril. And, uh, if I can find him, Frank, I think the two of these are actually walking time bombs. As hired guns, they both have a trait... Let's see if I can see where it is. Hair trigger. 100% chance to activate hair trigger. Whenever this person's HP or an ally's HP drops below 25%, there is a chance that they will lash out and attack a random target. So we've seen Cyril do that a couple of times where he screams to the heavens. And then he starts shooting. Um, we've seen him mark targets a few times. Which is fine. The problem could potentially arise if he was to execute... Um, whatever this one is. Is this gun him down? No. A uh, running gun. So the problem is that when hair trigger is activated, the game takes control of the character. If Cyril was to activate running gun, he would run and then wait for player input for the gun part. And this can lead to basically the game locking, because the character is still under the game's control, but is waiting for player input to continue. And there's nothing that can be done, only to reload. Now thankfully I haven't been hit with this yet, but um, I am going to have to start saving before big battles, especially the one that I'm just about to engage with against Soltis, because if Cyril was to, um, or Frank, if they were to go into this, it's possible that the game could lock. And that wouldn't be fun. That would be one of the worst ways ever to end the game. So do you know what? With that said, I think it's time to declare war on Soltis and go visit his HQ. Did I say declare war on Soltis? I meant declare war on Reyna, because I have a truce with Saltus for another 77 days. <sighs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare war on Reyna and see if, if we can um, progress towards figuring out where his safe house is. 37% chance of success. 
and we have to take over the rackets to increase that chance. We can't just do it by uh, raiding the places. That is annoying. So, um... That happens slowly over time. Frank is up to 65. Dean is at 51% only. We're very close as well to getting Angela's, or Angelo, Jane's. We have a hundred days of a truce with him. My god, these numbers are absolutely chaotic. So yeah. Um, I was hoping this would be... I won't say I was hoping to, to get this all done with earlier, but I was definitely hoping to fight Soltis on this episode. So we'll, we'll go to war with Reyna, and I'm just going to stay at war with Reyna until, um, until that truce period ends with, uh, with Soltis, or until we wipe Reyna out. So we will declare war. I don't know if he has any allies. Go to war. And we will confirm. And, uh, yeah. Here's the gang. We'll bring him up, I'll fight this combat, and then I'll bring this episode to an end here. It's been a bit of a disaster in that context. Got a problem? Because now it will make us stronger for fighting for fighting um what's his name? Not a problem. Saltus, but Come I don't know. Me, that bitch. <laughs> oh no. We've become enemies with uh, with Raina's gang. So the problem before was that the game kind of went on for too long. Or, uh, no, it didn't go on long enough. You could pretty much finish it in a couple of minutes just by targeting all of the bosses. The problem now is that there's no way of bringing the the game to an end uh, quickly. And imagine if we had ten neighborhoods. Yes! Fantastic! Victory! Oh my God, that's a long list of uh, of name to uh, of people to, to get through. But imagine if we had ten neighborhoods and what is it, ten or or even more uh, bosses to go through. Heads, I'd be still doing this episode this time next year. Not a bother. So this is the type of building that we went into with uh, our depleted squad. <laughs> Not a bother. We ended up getting George lost in, so large buildings with high security are still a threat. One person way back here, kind of in an awkward area. I think everyone's being awkward. They're all being awkward to me. Not a problem. Come here to me, you <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost certain Frankie's hit points have gone up, but I don't really know how. I don't know what's actually contributed to his hit points going up. Can we... nope. Dr. Warren, what do you see? Uh, presumably, we will need to get her in to... Oh, we can put her in cover there, we'll say. Somebody is getting a bit cautious now. Somebody remembers what happened to George. We'll delay her turn because she's in bad position. Oh, Dale, you're not doing much better. God damn it, Eddie, what put you back there? Delay his turn as well. Where 
where the people with low armor are. Surely he wouldn't be able to hit from there, would he? Will we see? Okay. Light him up. Uh oh. Is there a doctor in the house? What do you call a doctor for Dr. Warren? No other spate of them coming. Drill to there. My god, they're all going after the doctor. They know who we paid big money for. Will he activate? Let's see. He does. He does activate it. Oh, we can. We can bring... Yeah. that overwatch is now done Frankie. The devil. No, I don't think we're going to get anyone there. Dr. Warren. Can heal or sell? Indeed. She'd better start chipping away at some people. Right. I was going to say, Dale, if you don't kill him outright, I don't know what I'll say to you. How do we get Eddie into a good position? We can bring him to here. I've got it. Should be able to move him nowhere. Thought we'd get him into Bethler. We'll bring him to here. I thought that was still Eddie. I didn't realize. Oh, that's another waste. Oh. Oh, that's another waste. I thought Eddie, for killing somebody, was going to get his his run around, whatever. Apparently not. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. It's grand. It's grand. We're all making it out of here. We're all making it out. Even Frankie, who hasn't done anything for the last half an hour. I presume I wasn't watching, um... What's his name? Where's he gone to? Eddie Callahan's... Trait. It probably isn't, uh, it probably goes into cooldown. Is, is too far out of range. That's what Excellent. I'm fucking talking about. 
Yeah! Signs. Beautiful. Victory! That's what I'm talking about. Is that everyone? Okay. Not a great battle, not a great battle. We have to take over the place. To, uh, now we could set up a safe house. Now you gain offensive, defensive, and healing bonuses while in your safe house. You need a maid gangster to build a safe house in another neighborhood. I really don't care. I really don't care. Um, and you know what? Because I haven't, I haven't um, used this name yet. It's the last one that I can kind of think off the top of my head. And I think it's probably the last one that I'm actually going to, uh, to name. I'm just going to use the default names from here on in. I'm going to call this Brothel. Sheila Nagig. These are... Don't go searching for them. I'm not going to put any of them up on the, the screen. They are vulgar carvings. Which are carved into uh, churches. You find them in France. And throughout uh, Britain and Ireland. I think the, the most common theory is that the Normans might have introduced them. But they're, uh, they're vulgar carvings of ladies doing bold things, which are carved into churches. They're known as Sheila Nagigs. So that's what we're going to call this brothel, and it's probably the last one that I'm going to name, because I'm running out of names, and it's kind of, it's beginning to drag at this stage, especially if I, if I have to get another, um, I have to get up to 50 of these rackets. They're all, yeah, nobody likes the Sheila Nagigs. Uh, so here's an example of the new pop-up that we get. And it's our underboss that tells us, actually, no. I thought this was maybe, a, uh, not a mod, but an update or um, a fix. I just remembered that apparently once you appoint an underboss, which I did at the end of the last episode, uh, you get a ton of annoying pop-ups. Oh, well, there you go. And Chinatown has decreased, I think, so they now want uh, a different type of a different type of alcohol. But all these women running around, the old women have gone out, the new women have come in. Look at them there. Uh, with all these women running around, I'm going to pause, I'm going to set up that new... Just um, change the alcohol type for, uh, for Chinatown and probably call it there for this episode. So there you go. A bit of an odd episode. I thought I was going to be taking on Saltus. I really, really, really wanted to take Saltus on in this one. Uh, just to kind of start... Um, start kind of bringing this series to an end. Start kind of shutting it down. I thought we might be able to take on Saltus and then take on the uh, the Jennas shortly afterwards. But it doesn't look like it's going to play out that way. Now I think the consensus at the moment is to leave Frank Reagan and Dino Banyan to the very end. So I would be interested... Or, uh, for suggestions on what order I should go after them in. I think the uh, the consensus for a while was that we would have a dramatic battle of the dark greens and the lime greens. But uh, does that does that still hold out now that Nora is working for uh, Frank Reagan? Uh, Saltus owns those ones. God damn it! If it was Reina, I'd uh, I'd uh, come up and uh, taken them because yeah, there's a there's an achievement for taking over the uh, the whole neighborhood. I'd say it's going to be a while before I get that because uh, unless I take over maybe maybe this place over here where Frank Reagan has some places, and of course I'll have to go to war with Frank at some stage to to try and figure out where he is. Uh, we could we could try and assign moles and all that type of thing, but if you assign a mole, they're gone for six months. I and you still have to pay them, and you can't really do anything with them. I I have a feeling there there's a couple of mechanics that have been just kind of tacked on without a great deal of of I won't say thought put into them, but I don't know. I don't I don't like the 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 idea of um of signing somebody over to be a mole for months and months and months. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna have to go the old way and just take over all these buildings. We're gonna take over these ones on the next one, um, and uh, yeah, just just keep adding, figure out where Reina is, and either attack him or attack um, 
Soltis, because I think Soltis is the next person that our truce is up with. And then when we go to war with the Jennas, it'll be a war to the finish, because I'll find out where their safe house is and attack them and wipe them out. Thank you for joining me on this episode. It hasn't been one of my favourites. It's been a bit all over the place. We finally got the C96 Mauser, which I'd been looking for for a while. We've gotten some armour for everybody. We've learned a very tough lesson after the loss of Bugs Moran in the last episode. And we have assembled the Irish Brady Bunch. There they are. The whole gang has been put together. If only we had one more gangster. If only we had Bugs Moran, we'd have... Three rows of three, but nope. Nope. I thank you for joining me in this episode. Please do like and subscribe, because if you don't, the gang will try to go to war with you, they will show up outside your house, and then they will realize that they have a truce with you, and then they will run away, and they will keep returning every once in a while to check if the truce is still in place, and they'll be just outside your house, creeping out your neighbors. Thank you for joining me on this episode, and I will talk to you on the next one.